how might hypermobility cause joint pain? Well, there are many reasons for this. One of the reasons is that with the hypermobility, our tissues and our joints are more vulnerable and they're more vulnerable to sprains and injuries. A lot of the time caused because we lack the body awareness of the fact that we actually lock our joints and sprain them and strain them. So we can have imbalances in our tissues and our joints. We might have tight muscles which are surrounding the joints and they can be pulling on those joints, often making them sublux or cause muscle spasm. But we have the laxity in the joint, so we might have instability as well within the actual joint. So you have these sort of imbalances going on and this instability can cause pain and muscle spasms and subluxations. So if this has been going on a long time and you know, we repeatedly lock our joints because we're not aware that we're doing it, it can make us really vulnerable to injury as well and overuse injuries. Remember when we lock our joints, the muscles don't actually have to work anyway. So you're really relying on that joint as your stabilization. And that's not what it was designed to do. We're, we should be using all of the tissue to help stabilize that joint. So those are some of the reasons. Now, if you've been in pain because of your hypermobility, you might have developed something called sensitization. So even the slightest movement um, in your body can cause pain. We've become very sensitive to this. And that can lead to fear of movement. So we might actually be moving less because we're scared of injuring ourselves um, and scared of the pain and we, and we get fear of movement. So all these things kind of snowball into this bigger picture. So what's really important to help with the pain that might be caused from um, hypermobility is to work on body awareness and control. So if we have more awareness about what we're doing with our bodies, we're more aware of where our body is in space in terms of that proprioception, we can actually start to control our movements so that we put less strain on our joints and our tissues. And it does start to reduce the injuries, reduce the sprains and strains and reduce those muscle spasms. So I hope that was useful. Uh, as to why hypermobility might be causing joint pain.